good morning to all my awesome followers. I'm doing a special thing today for one of my special followers. Her name is Red December 2. She has been following me for some time and she's an awesome channel. I hope you go and check her out. Well, this is what she said. In my comment this week, she said, I love how you edit your videos. Would you consider doing a tutorial on how to edit? I wish I knew how to do what you do with you show a channel and then speak over it. Great collab you're in with Penny's Place Full View. That means she watched my video from the very beginning to the very end. She is an awesome channel and an awesome follower. Please go check out her channel. Now, let's go give her what she wanted. She wanted to know how I do my videos and add my voice to them. I usually start with a slideshow or a video that I'm not talking in, for I can do it. Okay, here we go. I go to iMovie. And it comes up. And then you're going to see the little X. We're going to push that. Then we have this right here where it says movie or trailer. I have never done a trailer, so I'll have to maybe do something in the future with that. But I've never done it, so we'll have to wait and see. This is the movie. I push that. Now... Before I start anything, I want to put together my slideshow. Now, I already took a bunch of pictures of Red December 2 cover of her channel. So, I'm going to go here, 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 and here. And then I took some pictures of the question the, un, under my comment wanting to know how I do it. So, I've clicked onto these and made little X's on all the pictures I want. Now, because I want to know when I get to the point of where my video is, I'm going to, you don't have to do, this is what I do because grandma needs a lot of help. This is going to let me know I need to get ready to stop talking. Now I'm putting a video along with a slideshow in the same. So, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to push one of my carrot seed pictures and then I'm going to scroll through my photos until I get to my video that I want. Here is a video of 1 minute and 18 seconds and I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to go back up to those pictures I took of my carrot seeds and that's what all these pictures are and I'm going to put a couple pictures at the end of my video you don't have to do this any either I just want to give myself some time to talk at the end of the video and explain what I did now say another thing you can do if you don't like the order you've done and you want to change it you just unclick the X's and you can redo it. So now I've redone it how I want it. Now I'm going to go down to the bottom and I'm going to click on it says create movie. Do you see that? Create movie. Click onto that and then you're going to see a little line go across your screen screen and that's showing you that everything got put together. Now we can see that our movie is now ready to be put together. I'm going to bring all this back. These are my photos I put and the little spaces in between let you know this is not a video. These are still pictures. Now I want to point this out because it's very hard when everything's moving to do it. Did you see over here I didn't have any line? There's no line here. 
when I get to over here, this has a little line because I'm talking on my video. And that way you'll know this is your video and these are your still pictures. And you don't want to talk when you see that line because you're going to be talking over your own voice. And you don't want to do that. So we're going to keep going back. We're running, we're scrolling through this. Okay, now we're back to the pictures that we put together for a slideshow. And this is where I'm going to start talking. Okay, so we got it all the way back to the front. Do you see what we've done? Okay, now the next thing we're going to do, we're going to put our voice onto it. Now you go over here and you're going to see a little mic. Do you see the little mic there? We're going to push that little mic and when we do, this is coming up. And this says cancel, ready to record, and the little one in red says record. We don't want to push that red record button until we're ready to really start talking. Now, because Grandma cannot read and pay attention to her screen at the same time, she has to sort of have in her mind what she wants to say before she starts. So, this is where we're going to go. We're going to push the, word, the, the red button record. Watch what happens when I do. Good morning to all of my awesome followers and friends. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Today we are going to do something special for one of my special followers called Red December 2. She has an awesome channel and I hope you go check her out. She is just, I can't even tell you, she gives you awesome comments. She watches your videos from the first minute to the last. A great follower. I love her so much. And when she asked me to please do a video on how I add sound to my video and talk, I said, of course, I will do it. And here I'm showing you how I add my voice to my videos. I'm starting with a slideshow and I'm talking over it. Now, as you can see, we have our videos coming up right here and I have to stop talking now. We're done now with my little short video and now we're back to just some pictures on a slideshow. And now I can talk or finish up my video when I'm talking, as you can see. So I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. And this also gives you an opportunity to see that you need to stop this in a minute. As soon as you see that you are getting close to the end of your video, you need to get your hand ready to hit that stop button. Okay, if you want to, you can push the, re the, the, the little place that says review. And you push that and it'll play everything you've done and you see if you're happy with it. If you're happy with it, then go over here and you want to push the accept button. For time's sake, I don't think everybody wants to watch this carrot video a second or a third time. 
So what we will do is we will say we reviewed it and we were happy with it. Now we are going to go over here and push accept, means we're happy with it. Then we're going to go up here, push this little button right here. And then we're going to go down here where it says fade out to black. You can do it any way you want. This is just the way I like to do it. And then I push that. So now when I run my videos, everything runs smoothly. All my photos and my video work perfectly together. So hopefully everybody understood what we did. Now, this is very simple too. We're done. We're going to go up here and click this thing and close it because we've finished doing what we're going to do. We go over to where it says done. We push the done button. And then we're going over here where it says, just go down here. And that little button in the center, we're going to push that. Then we're going to go up here where it says save video. Push that. We want to have a, now you can do anything you want. I'm just doing it the way I like to do it. I use, I choose usually a high resolution. I want my pictures to be good and crisp and my videos to look nice. So that's why I push a high, such a high one. But you do not have to do that. You can do it any way you want. Everybody's different. Everybody wants things different on their videos. Now, right now, they're putting the video all together for me to export it onto YouTube. As you see, it's moving right along in a nice little clip here. This is not a long video. I think it, it tells you the time right here. It's 2 minutes and 44 seconds. Now, you know it's going to be longer than that because I'm filming everything and talking. But just to give you an idea how this works. Okay, now it's done. It will say, the movie was exported to your photo library. Okay, so you're going to push the word okay that you know, you understand, you're ready to go. Now, we're going to go over here. You're going to push this button right here and leave iMovie. And I'm going over here to my YouTube. Now, to get it to go on YouTube, you're going up here to the top. Hopefully, it's going to focus in. There's my little icon. There's a little magnifying glass. And right there in the center is a little camera. You want to push that camera. Then, you're going to have this screen come up. And it's going to say, create. And I'm creating a video. Okay, so here's the video I want. I'm so happy it came up. So, what I will do, push that, Good and then it comes up, my awesome followers and it and says, friends. next. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Today, we are going to do something special for one of my special followers. And when you did the word next, it brought you up to where you put your title in, your description box, or whatever else you want to put in your video. Hopefully, you're seeing this clear enough. Because it's so hard to tell what I'm doing. Okay, title will go there. This is your description box right below. When you're all done with this, you're going to go over here to where it says upload. And you're going to push that upload button and you have your video up. Easy peasy. Couldn't ask for anything easier. This is an awesome program to use and everything is so simple and easy to do. Well, I'm going to show you some other videos how you could do the same thing. There's going to be three of them to do three different versions. I hope you enjoyed this one. And this was for my very awesome Red December 2. This one was for you. Hope it was clear enough in what I did to put this video together from the beginning to the end. Now, like I said, there's going to be two more videos up in this series, three total. Hope you check all three out and see how they show you different things. I'm going to show you a slideshow with nothing but a slideshow. I'm going to show you with just music added to it. And I'm going to show you with my voice added to it. So it can be any way you want. That's a great thing about doing these things on iPhone. I mean iPhone. iMovie. 
everything is so simple and easy and everything is there now I have had people leave comments about they don't like iMovie well maybe because they're experts in doing stuff they say it doesn't have enough things for it to do well when you aren't good at things this is fine for me so I'm just letting you know if you're a beginner or even if you're not a beginner you just want an easy process and I do everything I film everything on my tablet and take it right up through my iMovie right up to YouTube I do not even I have a computer the only thing I use my computer computer for and it's gonna sound crazy is to correct my mistakes every video has a mistake and I do use it for that but I don't actually upload anything onto my computer to put these videos up it's directly from my tablet and it's so easy now I realize I could do the same thing from my phone but you have to understand grandma's old she can't see well and the great thing about the tablet it's big enough I can see everything I, it's easy for me to type I can't even type on the doggone phone is so small everything about my tablet I love so I do it all from my tablet I do not you do use my phone hardly ever the only reason why I'm using my phone now is I want to show you what I'm doing that's the only reason well stay tuned for the other two videos they're coming up too they'll be on separate videos so you don't have a long video you have to stay all day watching uh, that way everyone can watch what they were interested in or maybe you want to watch one video a day or one a week it's up to you please leave me a comment if this helped you at all or if I was not clear enough on what was going on because I first time I've ever done one like this so hopefully I've made it clear and made it where you'll understand what I've done. Bye-bye for now, my awesome followers. I hope you enjoyed this video.